Let me show you exactly where and how to place affiliate links in your blog posts. In this tutorial, I'm going to use WordPress, but these same principles apply across all the other platforms. So let's jump into it. So very briefly, affiliate marketing means that you're partnering with companies or products that you want to recommend to your audience. And this happens through those special affiliate links that you can place in your blog post. And if somebody of your readers makes a purchase through your affiliate link, you will earn a small commission. So here's where it gets actually a bit more interesting. So before I show you how to place affiliate links in your blog posts, it is way more important to know where to actually post those. When I started blogging, I thought that I could just add those affiliate links to absolutely everywhere. So I could add them to my informational blog posts and basically every types of blog posts. And as long as I get some traffic, I would make some nice sales and nice side income from my blog. But doing it that way makes absolutely no sense and you will never earn a single dollar. Instead, it's crucial that you actually place those links in only those so-called affiliate posts that are those strategically rich and blog posts that are targeting people that are close to making a purchase. This is the only way to make affiliate marketing work and this is the only type of content where you should actually add your affiliate links. So there are two main types of affiliate posts. One is the roundup post where you actually just list products that are best in a particular category. So for example, a roundup post could be something like best tennis shoes for kids or best AI writing services for bloggers and such. And the idea is that you're going to list those products one after the other, and then you're going to strategically place affiliate links to those products. And in a roundup post, a common way to do this is that you're going to add an affiliate link to the name of the product. Then you're going to introduce the product to the reader and you can start that with an affiliate link as well. And then at the end, you're also going to add an affiliate link such as try for free or buy at nike.com or whatever. Then you're going to move on to the next product or service in line. And here you can actually see me doing this in one of my blog posts. So here I am reviewing Jasper AI, which is one of the most popular AI writing tools. It has an affiliate link at the name, then it has an affiliate link here in the introduction section. And then when we scroll down the review, at the bottom of it, there is also a button that is an affiliate link to the product page. So this is one of the most common affiliate post types, and I generate most of my affiliate revenue through these types of posts. So these are definitely something you should write if you want to do affiliate marketing successfully. And this is exactly how you place those affiliate links. Now, the next common affiliate post type is a review post. So basically you just review a product in a particular category. And then if you happen to partner with that product, you can add some affiliate links to that review so that the reader, if convinced, can make a purchase. And in a review post, the idea is simple. Add an affiliate link to the introduction of the review. So basically you briefly introduce the reader to the product and then there can be this special offer or some button or call to action to move to the product page. And here you can actually see a great example of somebody doing this in a blog post. So this is a review about a tool called Jasper AI. So here's the introduction section. And then right here at the bottom of the introduction, there is this special offer that contains an affiliate link. And then you can add a similar call to action at the end of the review. So you definitely don't want to spam the affiliate link everywhere in the blog post but you can only place it like once or twice or three times at most. Now, last but not least, it is actually important to understand that most of the content on your blog should be affiliate link free. And what I mean by this is that whenever you write content to your website, it is mostly informational, right? So the idea is to write content such as how to tie shoelaces or how to start playing tennis or how to smash in badminton, you know, you're getting what I'm saying. So those are the types of blog posts that are purely informational and people that read those kinds of posts are not looking to make purchases. So no matter how many affiliate links you place to one of those posts, you're never going to make a single sale. And it is really embarrassing, but I remember that I once had an affiliate link in a how to post and I think it got like 50,000 reads and nobody even clicked that affiliate link. 
And that's pretty bad because usually you need like tens or even hundreds of clicks to make a single sale. So that post could have probably have gotten like millions of reads and still make not a single sale. And that's important to keep in mind. Only add affiliate links strategically to those affiliate posts such as roundup posts and reviews. Now I'm actually already editing this video, but I just realized that what I just said is not 100% correct. So there can definitely be some topics where you might be able to slip in an affiliate link or two in an informational post. For example, if you're teaching how to start a website, you might be able to promote some domain hosting service, for example. But for most part, like 99.9% .9 of the time, those how-to posts should be purely informational and have no commercial intentions behind those because people are simply not looking to make any purchases. Now that you have a better understanding of where to add those affiliate links, it is time to move on to see how to add those affiliate links. And in this example, I'm using WordPress, but these same principles apply no matter which platform you're using. So basically every affiliate program has some kind of a dashboard and usually on that dashboard, you will easily find your unique affiliate link. For instance, here's my affiliate dashboard for iStock Upscaler. At the bottom of the page, I can see my unique affiliate link. To add this link to one of my blog posts, I can just copy it to the clipboard. Next, I'm going to open up one of my sample posts. So first and foremost, before adding any affiliate links to any post, you need to disclose the affiliate links. In other words, you need to let the reader know that this blog post has affiliate links. And then, for example, if you're in WordPress, you can just highlight a word or piece of text and then paste your link there. But that's not enough. Now this affiliate link is not properly set up. So what you need to do next is click on that pen icon and then advanced settings and then click on sponsored and no follow. This lets Google know that this is an affiliate link and it's super important to do. And by the way, if you're adding affiliate links to one of your buttons or images, you need to tweak the advanced settings of that image or button and add these following words, sponsored and no follow into the rel section of the element. So this is how you place affiliate links in your blog posts. Thanks so much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one.